Welcome one and all to The Gaming Codex, a show where we will take a look at certain terms and words used within the video games industry and how their meaning has evolved over time. Words that we use sometimes on a daily basis without even knowing exactly what they're supposed to mean. And what a better word would be to start off this series than with the word most important of all. Game. According to the dictionary, a game is a competitive activity involving skill, chance or endurance on the part of two or more persons who play according to a set of rules, usually for their own amusement or for that of spectators. Another definition would be anything resembling a game, as in requiring skill, endurance or adherence to certain rules. That is what is understood as a game. And mankind has been fiddling with the idea of games since before recorded history. There are relics dating back to 5000 years ago of games composed of boards and dice whose meaning may have been lost to time, but whose existence cannot be denied. People love playing games back then, and over the course of millennia, they have continued to love playing games. And that did not change with the onset of electronics. Video games became the next medium in which this passion extended itself. Games that you could play with your friends on a screen or by yourself against a new opponent. An electronic one, capable of thinking a thousand times faster than you can, but still respecting mostly the same rules and engaging you on an even-ish playing field. That is what a video game is the extension of the passion to create games in real life. That is what we commonly refer to as a game, when talking about this type of medium. An interactive medium, one in which your choices affect the outcome, in which your skill is taken into account, your ability, your reasoning. That is what a video game is. And now let us look at the popular definition for a game. And that would be, ah yes, anything running on a screen that sometimes lets you press a button. The current definition of a video game does not include the game part of a game, it's just a video part. It's just the part where you can stick a toothpick into your keyboard and you will have absolutely no discernible difference in your experience for you to actually try and play it. We have reached the people that consider something like Dear Esther to be a video game, even though it involves nothing from you, no understanding required, no problem solving, no skill, no competition, nothing. There is no other player involved there, not a virtual one, not a real one, not a shadow of yourself like you play playing tennis with a wall. There is no game there. And that is actually quite close to the marketing definition of a game. And that is anything we can get away with selling you before you notice it's not a game. Or functional. If it's a box filled with that and no actual game in there then we have done our job. See a lot of current collector's editions of video games that don't contain any actual game to understand what I mean. Well that would be it for for the first edition of Gaming Codex. Tune in next week for a new gaming term that will be analyzed and dissected and put through the lens of modern popular revisionism. See you then! Thank you for watching this show. If you enjoyed it, please consider watching some of our other videos and maybe sharing them or giving a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if you really, really liked what you saw, please check out our Patreon page. For just $1 a month, you could help us make much better shows and get some rewards in the process. Or you could consider buying my book called Tale of Doom. Volume 1 is out now and available for just two dollars. And as always, if you thought it was horrible, you know where to find me and complain about it.